Let's be honest, most of you are here for the skins, right? Well, you're in luck because there are plenty of events coming up that will give you the chance to get some amazing skins for your favorite characters. The Koa 7 event is already underway and the Koa Finals Global Tournament is getting closer every single day. Will the NAEU server finally win this year? Let me know what you think. But that's not all, there's also a huge crossover event that's rumored to be happening soon. It's none other than Little Nightmares, the creepy atmospheric horror game that has a huge fan base. I myself haven't played it, but I've seen some playthroughs. What kind of skins do you think we'll get from this crossover? And of course, we can't forget about the story updates that are coming this year. Ashes of Memory Part 3 has not been officially announced, but we all know it's coming, right? Will we see more Bloody Queen in the event as she was an important side character in the previous parts? Speaking of Bloody Queen, she's getting an SS tier skin as every year they seem to release new ones and it looks absolutely stunning. I guess it would make sense if they released it around the same time as the story event. What do you think? We also have the best performance skins for the Nymph Awards which are very elegant and classy. Now let's talk about some of the characters that are coming to the game this year. We already know that Puppeteer is coming very soon and he looks very unique. He has a very edgy and cool design which I appreciate. Netty seems to be more willing to experiment with different styles and themes for the survivors and I think that's great. There's also another survivor that's been rumored for a very long time and I think it's been confirmed by Netties themselves. It's Miles, the pilot who is supposedly Geisha's husband. He's been mentioned in the lore multiple times in the past but we've never really got to see him in the game. What kind of abilities will he have? Will he be able to fly or glide or something like Aeroplanist? I'm very curious. Now let's move on to the rank meta. Which characters should you watch out for at the beginning of 2024? Well on the survivor side you'll still see a lot of the usual suspects including Priestess if she's not banned, Sia if he's not banned, and Forward, maybe even Mercenary, although I'm not really sure if there's enough. You'll also see some prospectors who are great at kiting and harassing the hunter. Lawyer has also been a little bit nerfed since the last season, uh, but I think he's still a really powerful decoder. Antiquarian is also a very popular option as she's very, very consistent and has fantastic survivability. On the hunter side, Opera Singer is still the queen of the chase. Nightwatch is a close second as he uses his movement speed and wind abilities to dominate the chase as well. And then there's Fool's Gold, who is one hunter I'm a little bit unsure about still as people are still figuring out how to play him effectively. He has a ton of potential though and I can imagine you'll see him a lot in rank. So make sure that you're prepared. There's a catch. The meta could change drastically at any moment because of some of the new features, abilities and improvements that the devs are adding to the game this year. For example, Netties has announced that there's a new hunter trait coming to the test server very soon. If you don't know what those are, they include things like blink, teleport and patroller that you can choose before a match. What could this trait be? I have no clue. We have seen some ultimate versions in the past but I think it's going to be something new. It could even boost some of the lower tier hunters and make them more viable, meaning that some of the meta hunters at the top that are S tier might just fall down a little bit. We'll have to wait and see. The devs have also announced some changes to the hunter persona web trait, insolence, that lets you get presence faster, that could be a minor tweak or a major overhaul of the ability. There are also some improvements that are coming to the game outside of matches. The devs are working on making furniture and graffiti organizing options that should make it easier to categorize things. They are also adding more room decoration features which will let you customize your mana room a little bit better and they might even add a new option to showcase multiple skins on your first page of your profile. You might have decided to take rank seriously this year as it's 2024 new you so you should watch this video on the screen right here to learn about how you can best optimize your banning for each match.